How's it going guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't noticed already, the video you just saw was entirely shot on the iPhone 11 Pro Max using the DJI Osmo Mobile 3 gimbal. If you want to know how to create cinematic smartphone gimbal movements, well, this video is all about it. I just recently upgraded my iPhone X to the iPhone 11 Pro Max, which wanted me to test it out immediately. So last week, my friends and I planned a trip to the Paxmal Monument, which is located high above the Lake Wallen in Switzerland. We were very lucky with the weather. The sun was shining. We had lots of snow, which made the scenery look even better. On our trip to Poxmall, we had our experienced model Barbara with us as well as Sarah who did a great job with the makeup. For the pictures, we had Sebastian as the pro photographer and last but not least, Gabriel who shot all the awesome behind the scenes for this tutorial. Thank you so much Gabriel once again for helping out. So when filming with your smartphone, I find it very useful to use a gimbal to get those smooth cinematic shots. As I have mentioned, I use the DJI Osmo Mobile 3, which is a compact and affordable gimbal for your smartphone. One key factor in creating videos is the stability of the footage. The beauty of the gimbal is that you can use it for your smartphone to get smooth looking shots. No one likes watching videos that have a shaky camera which disorients the viewers. In some occasions, you could use it like in action scenes, but in most cases, you want your camera to be steady. With the constant tech improvements to the smartphones, most of them now have built-in stabilization, especially with the latest iPhone 11 Pro. With the wide-angle lens, it does a great job in stabilizing the video. But there are still certain limits to shooting handheld. With a gimbal, you have the possibility to capture more advanced shots that will make your videos look more impactful. Since you can fold down the gimbal, you can take it everywhere with you and it isn't heavy at all to carry around. Using just an iPhone and a gimbal made my life so much easier. Gabriel, who used the Ronin S with the Sony a7 III attached with the zoom lens, had a lot of weight to carry. The controls are easy to use and it has ports to even charge your phone. I have been using this gimbal for quite a while and I have been very impressed with it. As a matter of fact, it has now become a part of my go-to piece gear that I carry with me for traveling. All right, enough said, let's hop into the video and see what type of gimbal moves we can create to capture some cinematic footage with the iPhone 11 Pro Max using the gimbal. Before we get into the gimbal moves, in order to get the best results for your smooth camera movements, is having your knees slightly bent and walk heel to toe, letting your foot roll. This way you will avoid wavy bumps in your shots. So our first move is the push in shot. This is quite simple. You just move closer to your subject to give it more emphasis. Same goes for the pull out shot. You just move away from your subject to reveal the location. Next, we have the parallax. Parallax separates your subject from the background and gives it a twisting effect. If you zoom in in post-production, it will let the background even move faster and let your subject appear more in focus. Next on the list, we have the low shot. A very low angle and push in shot will make the subject appear larger than life. The crane shot. Tilt your camera from ground up to your subject. This gives it a really nice dynamic move and is great for revealing the location as well. Follow and leading shot. You can just follow your subject's movement and try using different focal lengths to have more options in post. 
this slider. Move the camera horizontal and use foreground to make the shot look more dynamic. Next, we have bird's eye. Shooting straight down onto your subject will give it a really nice perspective. So since the subject was standing in front of a tree, I thought about climbing up that tree and getting a shot from above. I had Gabriel help me uh, get up that tree. The only problem I had is getting back down. Uh, I asked my friends to help me out, but they just left me. All right, guys, so these are a few examples of gimbal moves you can do to level up your video skills. If you plan on shooting a lot of videos with your smartphone and want to get more out of it, then I highly recommend getting the DJI Osmo Mobile 3. It is really easy to use, gives you a lot of quality for the affordable price and will make your videos look much more professional. With that said, I wish you all luck. Have fun experimenting with different gimbal moves. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Let me know in the comment section below what your experiences are with operating a smartphone on a gimbal. Stay inspired and see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.